This will completely change the way you view market maker models. It is the utilization of market maker models with internal and external range liquidity. Let's get started with the basic outline of what a market maker model is. There will be a detailed video, however, this is a basic diagram. You have your original consolidation and then you have your accumulation levels. Once you have your accumulation levels, if it taps into a higher time frame PD array, this is where you could anticipate for your smart money reversal with displacement to then create your distribution levels and take out this original consolidation. So that is the diagram for the basic outline of your market maker model. In this scenario, this is a market maker cell model. When you have minor bearish displacement creating mitigation blocks, they become your accumulation levels because that is where smart money is hedging. Hence why you get minor bearish displacement on the accumulation side. Now in this video, this side I will refer to the buy side curve and this side I will refer to the sell side curve. So if you invert this for your market maker buy model, it is the same thing, but everything gets inverted. So now this side becomes your buy side curve, right? This is your buy side curve and this is your sell side curve up to the smart money reversal. This sell side liquidity now becomes your buy side liquidity. That is the basic outline of the market maker buy model. Minor bullish displacements on the accumulation side is where smart money is hedging their positions before distributing it further to take out the original consolidation. Now that you know the basic outline of a market maker buy model and market maker sell model, let's look into internal and external range liquidity. Drawing out the diagram here, price has two functions. One, rebalance any old inefficiencies and two, seek liquidity. So what is internal and external range liquidity? External is essentially your swing highs. So here, this is your buy side liquidity as well as here. And then the swing lows become, as you would have guessed, your sell side liquidity. And that is your external range liquidity. Your internal range liquidity are the imbalances that are within the range between your external range liquidity. So here, between this sell side liquidity and this buy side liquidity, you would have an imbalance that price would retrace to before it continues higher. Upon retracing and then continuing higher, it will create a new range. The new range now becomes your new external range low, which is this sell liquidity, and a new external range high, which is this buy side liquidity. As you would have guessed, price would then rebalance and the old inefficiencies in the form of an internal range liquidity, which is this imbalance here, before it continues higher and the process begins again. So this is how you would utilize market maker models and internal and external range liquidity. Because when price taps into an internal range liquidity, you would anticipate for it to take out an external range liquidity. Once it takes out external range liquidity, internal and then external, and then the process repeats. So when it is inside an internal range liquidity, what can you expect in this bullish higher time frame direction? You would expect a market maker buy model to form. And this external range liquidity, which becomes your draw, is the original consolidation of the market maker buy model. So that will look something like this. Original consolidation. Remember your accumulation stages. This is where you have your smart money reversal. Remember, it occurs inside an imbalance, which is your higher time frame PD array. And then you have your distribution. So imagine this black line here is your hourly time frame. And this red line here is your five minute. That is how it will look like from a fractal standpoint and how you would utilize the two concepts together. Now that the basic ideology is out of the way, let's look at a couple of examples. All right, so here, price comes into a volume imbalance before it continues lower. Upon continuing lower, what gets created? This now becomes your new external range high. And this was your old external range low. Like so. So when this low was created and it was taken out, creating this new external range high, you would anticipate for price to come back into an old imbalance seeking inefficiency, right? And this is your internal range liquidity because price has taken out an external range liquidity. So your next target would be an internal range liquidity before it takes out an external range liquidity again. So now we would wait for price to retrace into an internal range liquidity, such as this imbalance. Price retraces into that imbalance. This now becomes your new external range low. Again, sell side liquidity. This is your internal range liquidity. 
So now price has rebalanced this internal range liquidity, your next target would be this external range low. Now, you would drop down to the five minutes. Here, you can start to see the buy side curve of the market maker sell model forming. You have your original consolidation here, and then minor bearish displacement. You could either refine it to mitigation blocks or take the entire range and that becomes your accumulation. This is where you would anticipate for price to retrace back into to become new distribution levels when the sell side curve initiates. So let's ignore this for now and keep playing price out and hunt for our smart money reversal. And that is what we get here. Smart money reversal, price breaks the swing low with heavy displacement. So that is your smart money reversal. And remember, smart money reversal occurred within this hourly imbalance, which is your internal range of liquidity. This is your accumulation level, right? As well as this. I will use the entire range to make it simple, but this is where you can anticipate for price to come back, retrace into, before distributing lower and taking out your original consolidation, which is this external range low. Playing price out. Notice how it has reactions at these accumulation levels. Price just about misses this refined accumulation level, but it taps into a re-delivered rebalanced, which is around that level. And that was enough to bring price further down. So now this accumulation level becomes your new distribution level, right? And you can see how price retraces back into this accumulation level before it distributes lower and taking out your overall drawn liquidity. And that is how you would utilize market maker models with internal and external range liquidity. Remember, price took out this external range liquidity, your next target, internal range liquidity. This is where you would hunt for your smart money reversal and your anticipated market maker sell model to form. Once you get your smart money reversal within the internal range liquidity, you would aim for this external range liquidity because internal goes to external, external goes to internal, and it repeats. And that is the basic idea behind this. Here is a second example. This time we are bullish. So again, you will look for the same thing. This is your external range low. And I'm playing price out. When price gives you that retracement, this external range high gets created. Price had taken out this external range high prior to this up move. So now, because it's taken out this external range high, you would look for your internal range liquidity to be your next target before taking price higher and taking out this external range high which is in line with your higher time frame bullish direction. So here, you have this imbalance. And now let's go down to lower time frame to see if it gives you that smart money reversal. Price taps into your internal range of liquidity, and now you would look for a smart money reversal. And that is what you had here. Again, you had a market structure break with displacement. Now that the sell side curve has been completed, you would now look for your buy side curve to form and take out this original consolidation. So that is your original consolidation, where the drawn liquidity is. And here, minor bullish displacements, which are your mitigation blocks on the sell side curve, will become your new distribution levels. So here you have this level, this level, and as well as this level, if you wanted to use that. These are the levels you could anticipate price retracing back into to turn old accumulation levels into new distribution levels and distributing price higher to take out your original consolidation. So let's play price out and see what it does. It retraces back into this accumulation level and then it displaces higher. And then eventually it takes out your overall drawn liquidity. Again, we looked for that smart money reversal within the internal range liquidity and the external range high was our next target. So that means we can anticipate where this external range high is, that is where our original consolidation will likely be. And the chances of a market maker buy model forming becomes much higher because it formed within an internal range liquidity. And since the higher time frame direction is bullish, your draw would be this external range high. Of our last example, this time price sweeps that sell side liquidity and then it has a strong displacement higher. This gives you your market structure break and now you would anticipate for bullish price action. This market structure break was your external range liquidity. And once that was taken out, what would you anticipate? You would anticipate for it to target internal range liquidity before taking out the newly formed external range high. Internal range liquidity gets left behind. 
disimbalance, but price comes into disimbalance instead, which could also be used as a balance price range. But will we just focus on the imbalance? And then let's go down into the five minute and hunt for our smart money reversal. So here, this break confirms the smart money reversal along with displacement. And now you will look for your accumulation levels on the sell side of the curve and then extend out to become your new distribution levels on the buy side curve. This accumulation level extends that out. That is where price retraced to after giving you that smart money reversal. And now you would anticipate it to continue higher. However, this could be where your first entry is. This is considered a low risk buy. Your stop loss would be around here. And then your take profit would be at this draw on liquidity, which is your external range high. That could be your first entry. This is not as high probability as waiting for another distribution stage to form and then entering off that one. For example, here, what gets created? This is another accumulation stage. What PDR overlaps with this accumulation stage? This bullish order block. This is where your second entry could be. This entry here is more high probability than if you were to enter at this level. Because that is your low risk buy, playing price out. When price retraces back into this level, this becomes your distribution after the low risk buy. Remember, this is your low risk buy, and this is the distribution after your low risk buy. So essentially, because we had another distribution, this further reinforces our bullish idea to take out this drawn liquidity. So this level of entry becomes higher probability than the low risk buy. This is where your second entry could be. Stop loss just below there. Take profit here. And then it hits your draw on liquidity. One thing to note is market maker models appear everywhere. So it's important that you identify which market maker models are going to get completed compared to others. And how you could identify that is being in line with your higher time frame direction. If we look at the same example that we used previously, going back, because we had our market structure break, we would anticipate bullish price action. So external range highs should ideally become targets and external range lows should stay intact because we are in a bullish direction. So since that's the case, you would anticipate for market maker buy models to be the ones that get completed and market maker sell models do not get completed and simply be retracements. What do I mean by that? If you look here, after price took out this external range liquidity, you get a retracement into an internal range liquidity, being this imbalance. But if you go down into the five minutes, you can see all it was, was a market maker sell model that didn't get completed. We have the same accumulation stages, right? Accumulation, accumulation, and your original consolidation, as well as a smart money reversal. So in order for this to get completed, you would anticipate it to come to these accumulation levels from new distribution before distributing lower and taking out this original consolidation. But why does it not get completed? Because like I said, you are not in line with the higher time frame direction. In this case, bullish. All it was doing was simply forming a partial market maker sell model to rebalance this imbalance, aka internal range liquidity, to bring it higher and take out your external range high to continue the higher time frame direction. Like so. And that is the key thing you should always remember. So that concludes this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And like always, take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.